Hey guys, well, welcome back to Picking for Profit. I have two massive videos to make. <clears throat> Spent the weekend in Alabama. <clears throat> Went to um, two bin places. One was a quarter, one was four dollars. Um, probably five Goodwills, America's Best Thrift Store, and a couple other small stores. And um, we piled up. This up here. This whole down to this line right here is Goodwill. This all these black bags all the way to right here is the one bin place. These two here, the other bin place. Those two totes back there <coughs> is um the other stores. And this is what I sold over the weekend. So I used uh, the tricks that people was telling me to do on eBay about um instead of relisting something when it ends you sell similar so I've been ending stuff early I've been looking on the date and whatever is ending within 24 hours I get on there and um, end the listing early and then relist sell similar and it's working and I've got 18 or 19 items to ship and I just got this massive box in the mail while I was gone because I knew I was gonna have a good weekend so I loaded up with way more mailers so uh, this is gonna be fun so I'm gonna go over everything. I'm not gonna, you know, go over and bore y'all with um, the, the taxes and all that stuff. I'll do those every now and then for teaching because I got so much to do today. But I'm gonna show you the item and what it sold for and what I paid for it. And then uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, package it all up and um, get it ready to ship. And this one's gonna be the short video. And then the long videos, we're gonna be going through all the stuff we went through and tell him what we paid for it. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then I'm actually thinking about doing a live listing party i've seen people doing that where you get on here and you go live and you list stuff uh, but they don't ever show it so i'm going to put the camera where it's behind me and you can see what i'm doing because <clears throat> a lot of people don't they do the live listings but they just talk they don't show you what they're doing so you guys can follow along if you're trying to list something brand new but i'm gonna show you what all i got right now and just show you what i sold it for <clears throat> and what i paid for to get my computer on and then that's pretty much it and y'all have to i don't have to bore y'all with the shipping and taping and taking pictures and getting paper you already seen me all do that already so i'm gonna get all this mailed to the post office and then i'm gonna come back and make a i don't know how long it's been. last time i said it was gonna take an hour but we got more stuff this time it only took 30 minutes so i'm gonna say it's gonna take about 40 minutes to go through all this stuff maybe and i gotta separate right now i gotta separate it by store like i said goodwill bins um thrift stores we didn't do any uh yard sales or or estate sales because there wasn't any um couldn't find any anyway and it was raining all weekend in alabama so we went to Mobile uh, all along the um, Mississippi Gulf Coast and, and all over Mobile. <clears throat> so um, I'm just going to go over real quick and look at um, the payments. Well, I can look at the orders. I'll look at the orders. I'll show you what they paid for. it. That'd be a lot easier. Let's see. Sold for and total. See, don't, it, that's with shipping, so I'll just do it like that. <clears throat> It'd just be a lot faster. Okay, and, I'm, and then I was, you don't have to watch me do the shipping. So, um, I got this for Cry Baby. When I get the Oh, I hate the dentist. I, I can't. Dentist I've only been to the dentist three times as an adult, and two times they forced me to go. <laughs> Alright, guys, I got this Tennessee marijuana. Um, at a, I can't even say the word. I don't know, but it's the marijuana people that go in there and take the marijuana out. I got it for um, three bucks at a, two weeks ago at a um, estate sale. Three, I paid three bucks for it, and it sold with shipping for twenty six thirty three. It sold for nineteen ninety nine. I can say that, yeah. And it, sh and it shipped for a, with shipping twenty six thirty three. They paid five dollars or something, so I'm gonna get a little extra out of that on uh, shipping. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the next item. Sorry, I'm talk fast because I got a lot to do today. We've been gone for four days, and uh, I'm gonna go over these three because I think I, I, two different shippers ship two different, two different people bought these, but they asked if they if I would put the shipping together I want to buy another please check my offer and do, do combined shipping so I told them go ahead and pay for it pay for the shipping I would um, send him back the money for the cheapest one so I get the highest expensive shipping and uh, I would send him that's yeah, a different person I would send him the difference in the so if it was like ten dollars to ship both I mean if and one was 450 one was 550 I tell him I'd refund him the 450 so he bought <clears throat> we paid a dollar for these at that same, same estate sale that the hat came from, I think. No, we went to a different one. This is a separate state. So, but these were a dollar a piece. Um, we sold this Dairy Queen plastic play burger set for 18, shipping 24. 
and he also bought this Dairy Queen set here. It was sold for seventeen, so uh, thirty-five dollars for both of these with shipping. So uh, he spent about forty bucks. I'm gonna send him back about five. So I made about thirty-five dollars, and I only spent two. That's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. I'm missing one thing. I couldn't find the DVD this morning. I was looking at six o'clock this morning out in the shed. So I'm one of these items I'm, I don't have right now, but I'll get it. But I sold, like I said, 18, 19 items this weekend. This was our, our best yet. We had a 12 item weekend about a month or so ago. And then two weeks ago, we had 11 item weekend. And I think we hit 18 this weekend. Plus, we had another eBay and we hit one. So it was 19. It was close enough to 20. I wish I, it would have hit 20. But uh, technically, it was 18 if you combine the gas shipping. Do follow me and I will help you sell stuff because I follow other people that help me sell stuff so I can teach them how to teach you like to do and um, list a similar and it does work because all, all these things go back up to the top of the um, order uh, of algorithm and that's how you get them sold. A lot of the stuff I listed new so a lot of my stuff that I sell I just listed so that tells you the old stuff's not selling. So what I do is I turn around and I take the old stuff and relist it. So that just tells you that the reason why the stuff's selling that I'm just not listing is because the algorithm is at the top. So you got to go back and take the stuff that's been on there a while and reverse it back to the top. Okay, <clears throat> so this one, that's not the right one. It's piled under a bunch of junk. It was actually the Chuck E. Cheese place that I don't think he bought this Dairy Queen one. Well, I'll fix that in a minute when I go to ship it, but he bought a Chuck E. Cheese place that a lady is a different person. They pay $12.99 for it. I just grabbed this burger one on accident. But it has two pieces of cheese and a drink. And it says Chuck E. Cheese play set. Similar to the Dairy Queen. Um, he bought it for $12.99 unless it's in this box. I don't think it is. Okay. I also sold this Roseanne, the complete DVD set. Um, I think I pay a dollar for it. Every single one of them is in there. And they are brand new. Even though it's not, it's not sealed, but they're like new. I put like new. Um, I think I paid a dollar for it. And I sold it for $17 plus shipping. $22. Bucks. All right. The only thing I couldn't find is the Coraline DVD with 3D glass. I just listed it, so it's got to be in here somewhere. Hey, I sold the Schoolhouse Rock Special 30th in Edition. Two disc set, School of Rock. I uh, paid 15 cents for it. It sold for three, <clears throat> plus shipping, six sixty-nine. So I made probably a dollar off after fees. Okay, I sold this um, <clears throat> to the top here. I sold this Goldfinger Blu-ray 007 for $4.50. I paid a dollar for it. Um, so I made a couple bucks off that. And we sold this James Bond for your eyes only comic. Uh, it, it's uh, issue one from my, I don't know when, but uh, 1981 it says. So it sold for $2.90 plus he paid a lot for shipping. So it was $7.98 after shipping. And I got it for free. So I probably made a couple bucks there. Okay, let's go to the next. I, just br I brought all these albums because someone is actually coming in to buy the rest of them. Not the rest of them, but most of them um, this weekend. So I don't have to do anything with them. So I'm just going to put them aside. I don't. I think I sold one. Let me see. I think, I think one of these was an album. I call them album, but vinyl, whatever you want to call it. Yes, okay. One of them did sell. Let me find it. Okay. Rick Springsteen, or Bruce Springsteen, but when he was Rick Springsteen, um, it sold for $10.90 plus shipping $17.21. I actually it for three bucks, so I made 14 bucks off of a um, dollar purchase. Paid for, I just did the state sale that um, had all those autographs in it. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about. But you gotta watch my videos to keep up. Okay, I went and got this old Miss at a Goodwill, this big old Miss, uh, it's a Snuggie with a hood on it, so it's a hoodie Snuggie. It's got Ole Miss basketball on. Don't say Ole Miss football. It actually says basketball, so I was kind of hesitant that it would sell. But it sold for... Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. It sold for $11 plus a lot of shipping, so they probably paid priority. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to get much of the shipping there. So it sold for $23 with shipping. But it was $11, and I paid um, 3 for it, so I should go to make 5 6 bucks off of it. I mean, it's pretty good. You add five, six bucks times eight, I mean, you're making money and all you did was go out and shop. It's an easy job. It, I saw this when Tyranny Becomes Law Flag. <clears throat> and it was a quarter, come out of the quarter bin place. It sold for 11 plus shipping, 15, 20, so I'll probably make eight bucks off of that. Not bad. And then I sold this Buffalo Bills metal license plate. Also out of the quarter bin for 8, 20 plus shipping, so I'll be able to get six bucks out of that. 
I sold this Shania Twain t-shirt that I paid a dollar for at the Goodwill. So for 25 bucks plus shipping. So I should make a good 20 something dollars off that Shania Twain shirt. I finally sold this Lexus hat because this guy wanted it, but he, he wanted two for him and his wife. I told him I didn't have two because I bought it at a uh, random, uh, I bought it at a quarter bin place, no? Yeah, I bought it at the quarter bin place. So this is a Lexus hat. I sold it for eight bucks. So I get six bucks out of that for fees and stuff, fees and shipping and all that good stuff. Uh, finally, somebody, I don't know if he bought it or somebody else did. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> all right, a couple more items, and then I'll get off here and, and get all this ready and get sent to the post office. And then come back and then make the video going through all the cool stuff that we got. I mean, if you if you want to live through our eyes and see what we do and see how we thrift you, just watch this and you'll see what kind of stuff we get and imagine everything we sell, we sell, can sell for double. So if I say I paid a dollar for it, we can make <clears throat> three, you know. I don't buy anything I can't double or more. Like this Jeopardy DVD. I paid a dollar for it. It sold for $49. Plus shipping. And he paid nine dollars shipping and ship it for three bucks so i made fifty four dollars minus three. i made probably fifty three dollars total profit off this dvd fifty three dollars and i got it at a yard sale i'm telling you it there, there's profit there you just guys got to learn what you're doing i sold this harry potter double disc dvd feature for 390 plus shipping and i'll probably make a dollar off shipping so that'll be about eight bucks i paid a quarter for it no 15 cents maybe i think i paid 15 cents for it so I'll probably make six bucks off that. Then I, then another thing I bought for 15 cents, and I got them 15 cents because I bought them in a uh, massive ass um, beat, excuse me, I beat myself, beat, um, a Gaylord, and it had about 1,500 DVDs in it, so that's how they ended up being 15 cents a piece. I bought this Disney Carol Blu-ray, uh, Disney Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey, two-disc DVD set for $9.90 plus shipping, 10 bucks uh, minus what I paid for, so I'll probably get eight bucks after fees. And then, like I said, the Coraline DVD. <clears throat> Sometimes you have returns. I had this return the other day. I had a DVD return. But one out of every 10 items you're going to have return. But it's okay. You get your money back. You just have to pay to get the ship back to you. You might lose a couple bucks here and there. But the profit is so good on the other stuff. I've only lost 15 times out of 200, 300. Maybe not even 15. I've probably lost under 10 times. Lost a value on something that I sold that I paid for and every time I've lost it's been under a dollar the worst was like a dollar six everything else has been seven cents twenty cents fifteen cents <clears throat> but we're gonna get off here and get all this shipped and then I'm gonna come back and make a video going through all the stuff so be prepared for that 